What's up, what's happening? It's your boy Tree. Welcome back to the Treehouse. I appreciate you clicking on this video today. Future Jay talking to you guys. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys kind of the pros and cons versus from the Switch Pod to the Gorilla Pod. If you guys ever considered purchasing the Switch Pod, this is the video to do it. Hit that thumbs up button right away. First of all, that's what you gotta do. Second of all, stay tuned and check it out because I know you guys will enjoy this one. With a lot of my videos I'm filming alone, this tripod is great because it can wrap around stuff, you can hook it on stuff, whatever. But I think because my camera is pretty heavy camera, I mean, it's it's got a, a pro lens on it and body's not super light like with my other camera, it actually can weigh down on this a lot. So like when I am filming, set it up, boom, these just collapse with the weight of the everything on it. So. I saw a ad and I saw a few videos and I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So we're gonna unbox this real quick and then I'll, I'll let you guys know why I got it. That was the worst knife cut of all time. This is the Switch Pod. It is made for vloggers, but it also acts as a really good tripod because it's very stable. So let's, let's, let's slice into this guy real quick. I'm, I'm terrible at unboxings, if you haven't noticed that yet. And I got a dog that just keeps walking back and forth. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do a scare, guys, ready? One, two, three. Such a clean unboxing. This thing folds out into a tripod, folds right back up in a second. So, so like if I'm talking, Boom, boom, da, da. I'm awesome, follow me YouTube channel, subscribe. I can go set it down, do my workouts, whatever, have myself record myself. And another good thing about this is that these ball heads on the top of the Jovies, because these didn't come with ball heads. Put the ball head on the switch pod, you actually have to have an adapter. I just ordered the adapter. <laughs> I thought that they were the same. Probably should have looked that up before. I am gonna put this camera on here and I'll show you guys how you can get it out, have it out here, make it look a little better. So hold on one second. So this is with just my arm holding it. I'll show you guys in one second what it looks like with the switch pod. So check it out. So this is what it looks like with the switch pod. And uh, you get a little bit wider of an angle. You get to see a little bit more of my big self. The coolest thing about this is that I can go from talking to you guys like this, doing crazy, ah, vlogging, to setting up for the tripod. And now you guys can see me in a little different way. Or I could just sit, chill, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit, we gotta go do something. Let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going, girls? Girls, where are we going? Where? Say we're not going nowhere because we tired. Jazz, where you go? So yeah, I think that is super duper cool, especially because this thing's actually super lightweight comparatively. Like the other one, I have giant hands, but I still have to, I still have trouble trying to wrap my hands around it. This is a little bit easier. I feel like I have a ton of control over this thing, so I could just. All right, guys. So there are a couple of drawbacks with this, I'm not gonna say it's all amazing. I feel like for me personally, the drawbacks are kind of neither here nor there. So I have a Gorillapod 3K. It was about $80. This cost about $100. So if that's a drawback, then $20 is $20. And if you don't have the attachment, then it's just set in one spot so you can't go up and down. It has to, uh, it has to stay in the one spot, which is definitely a drawback. And with the, the Gorilla Pod, you also are able to bend it around things. For me, that's not really the biggest deal in the world because I make fitness videos and most of the time my videos, I'm at the gym where I can control just about everything where I put it and what, what not. So that's kind of not the worst thing in the world for someone like me. If you're like a travel vlogger, I could see how you do that. So the 3K, the Gorilla Pod 3K fits a little bit smaller of cameras. With this camera that I have, which is the EOS R, it kind of, takes, you have to get it in the right spot for it to be able to stay stable. Unlike with this, I kind of can just open it up and it stay stable, like just how it is right now. I literally just open it up, put it on the table and it just happened to work. One second, we can see another benefit. 
I would say another thing that is really good about this thing is the ease of use. And I'm not saying it takes a rocket scientist to, to use one of these uh, Gorilla Pods, but being able to open it up, put it down, know that it's gonna be stable, makes life so much easier. And every single person, I don't care who you are, would rather have something that's easy to use and you don't have to worry about it over something that could potentially be a liability. You guys are probably also wondering why there's a, uh, a purple chair here. First of all, mind your business. <laughs> Caitlin, I've been playing uh, Call of Duty a lot since the quarantine started. And Caitlin's over here hanging out with me usually, doing work on her computer, which is actually right there. That's why, <laughs> that's why that's there. And I know you guys see the Eagles gear, cause you always rep in Philly, baby. We always rep in Philly. All right guys, so I think that this tripod is useful for people who are doing like run and gun styles videos, but not so much travel vloggers because travel vloggers usually do hikes and all that other good stuff. And this is a very, uh, we'll say urban design. So it's not made to go put on uneven surfaces. But you also have to buy the ball head with it if you don't already own one. There's an extra $30 that they put on top of that. So if you don't have one already, it's like $130, which can get kind of expensive. Me, I think it was worth the upgrade because my my other tripod, whenever I set it up, sometimes it would fall over. A lot of times it would fall over because my camera is too heavy now because now I use the ESO, EOS R and I used to use the SL2, which was a lot smaller. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up for me. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell notification. So every time I upload, it goes straight to you guys. We have a, uh, a Caitlin over here in the background. Tell him Tay. Right. Tell him Tay. First of all, do I look like your child? I have an angry kitty too. The kitty's just trying to play with Samson. Man. He's just a grumpy old man. We got a new cat, guys. You guys will see that in another video. You pretended like you were recording me, but you were just recording Jazz, weren't you? I can't, I can neither confirm nor deny who I was recording. Caitlin took a nap, that's why there's blankets all over the, the couch. I want you guys all to have a great rest of the day. Stay safe during this quarantine, and peace.